What's up YouTube? Dow here from Zephyr War Games, bringing you the deck that a lot of people have been asking for, and that is an update to Ancient Warriors. And this is obviously Ancient Warriors with the Tri Brigade. Now, for those of you that don't know what Tri Brigade are, where have you been? They're a brand new mini art type um, in or from Phantom Rage, which basically allows you to boost any beast, beast warrior, or winged beast deck. I've been going on about it like mad. It is a very, very small, very, very cheap engine now, right now. Definitely worth picking up if you plan to play any Beast Warrior deck and definitely worth play, picking up for this deck because I've actually found a free card combo that you can variate and the variations will produce two game winning end boards as well. This deck is designed to go second and I do have um, plans and I will talk you through the strategy of the deck as well um, of where you kind of go from it. With that said and done, please smash the like button, hit the notification bell and subscribe if this video gets at least 50 likes. I will bring you a test time video so you can see this deck in all its glory. Absolutely love Ancient Warriors. With that out of the way, let's get into today's profile and combo for Ancient Warrior Brigade. So we start off with Triple Lujon. This is the most important uh, Ancient Warrior monster in the deck, in my opinion. So, while you control another Ancient Warrior monster or monsters, your opponent cannot target this card. Nice, no imperms. Uh, for, uh, sorry. Cannot target this card for attacks. You can only use each of the following effects of Ancient Warrior Lujon once per turn. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, very important, you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon one Ancient Warrior monster from your deck, except himself. When an attack is declared involving another Ancient Warrior monster you control, you can draw one card. Then the second most important, in my opinion, is Triple Masterful Sun Moon. Um, so, while you control another Ancient Warrior monster, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. I only use each of the following effects once per turn. Send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Add one Ancient Warrior monster from your deck to your hand, except himself. If your other Ancient Warrior monster or monster's effect is activated, except during a damage step, you can target one monster your opponent controls return it to the hand. Nice! Uh, and then the last three off the Ancient Warriors, we play Triple Ancient Warrior Loyal Guanjon. Um, basically, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, special on this card from hand. Your opponent cannot target other Ancient Warrior monsters you control with card effects. Nice! If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can target one monster on your opponent controls and destroy it. Only use the effect once per turn. So again, 2500 free summon beater. That's just going to go, cool. Uh, I'm going to try and bait out one of you on the gates because I'm going to try and target and pop it. And you're going to either need to lose it, or you're going to need to get rid of my card. We've then got two um, Zhu Kong. Now, this one is if this card is added to the deck to your hand by the effect of an Ancient Warrior card, special summon it. When a spell or trap is activated, quick effect, you can send one face of Ancient Warrior continuous spell or trap you control to the graveyard, negate the activation. When a monster effect is activated while you control Ancient Warrior Lujon, quick effect, you can send one face up Ancient Warrior Continuous Spell or Trap you control to the graveyard, negate the activation. Only use the effects once per turn, so you do need to control Lujon. Now the reason we've got Kong at 2 is purely because yes, it does summon itself, but you only want to summon it when you search. You don't really want to open him up unless you have the ability of getting Lujon and this on board. It's more defensive, and like I said, this deck has been built to go second, and trust me, it does that with the greatest of ease. We've then got the one Graceful Zhugong. This one is target one continuous spell trap you control, send it to grow, and if you do, add one Ancient Warrior spell or trap from your deck to your hand. If another Ancient Warrior monster's effect is activated, except during the damage state, target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effect until the end of this turn. Only use each effect once per turn. We've then got a Zhang Di. Um, so basically, if you control two or more Ancient Warrior monsters, you can special summon this card from the hand. Gains 300 attack for each monster your opponent controls, nice, during your turn only. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can activate this effect. This card can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. So you've got to make sure that your opponent always has more monsters than you. That's when you declare to use the effect, and then that's where you can start popping the cards and get rid of the cards. And then finally, for the last one, we've got the one Fearsome Zhong, uh, Zhang Yuan. This card, again, I love it. I even like the other Fire one, but I kind of had to cut it out. Um, so all other Ancient Warrior monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, you can only use each of the following effects once per turn. At the start of the damage step, when your Ancient Warrior monster battles an opponent's face-up monster, you can special summon this card from the hand, and if you do, that opponent's monster loses a 1,000 attack. Nice, you're going to do an additional 1,000 damage. If a card or card your opponent controls is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. So again, if you've given Zhang Di the ability to attack twice, you attack once with it, Drop this down. 
This will then deal an additional thousand damage technically because this is going to attack through. Then, because a card your opponent tries is destroyed, this can then pop another card. This then gets a second attack, and if you put out Borosaur, Borosaur's going to get two attacks as well. So, power plays. Then we've gone for the smaller Tri Brigade engine of Triple Fractal, uh, Single Caress, and One Nerval. Um, purely for space, I wanted to keep this deck as a 40 card deck, so I've cut this engine down as minimal as I possibly can. Now, the combo doesn't end if you open up either of these, because obviously you can still special summon Caress. Um, you can still send Nerval with the effects of the Ancient Warriors, but the idea is that using Fractal maintains your normal summon. Now, throughout the combo, your normal summon is just going to give you that extra level to guarantee an OTK, um, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Then we've got two Ash Blossoms as our final hand traps, or our final monsters in the deck. You can make this free if you want to. If you're going to make this free, you probably cut out uh, Call by the Grave. Uh, I've just gone with, again... You don't really want to Nibiru your opponent. You, you, the idea of this deck, and what might be a little bit better is putting Dark Lord and No More in here. But then if you put Dark Lord and No More in the deck, you're going to actually change your strategy from OTK to turn off your opponent's board, clear your opponent's board, maintain the board presence, and then OTK them the turn after, which is doable. So it just depends if you just let them run Riot. Nibiru, in my opinion, is not a good card for this deck purely because you Nibiru, you're only leaving your opponent with one monster. At no point will they ever have more monsters than you on the board, which means half of your Ancient Warrior monsters' effects won't be effective and you won't be able to do a lot with them. Moving on to the spells, Triple Ancient Warrior um, Saga Free Visits. Again, this is probably the best Ancient Warrior spell card. So during your main phase, if you normal or special summon an Ancient Warrior monster or monsters, so one of those monsters, add one Ancient Warrior monster with a different name from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard, special on one Ancient Warrior monster from your hand, you can only use each of the effects once per turn. Uh, during your second standby phase, after this activation, destroy this card. We've then got Triple Ancient Warrior Saga East by South Winds. This card's broken, like stupid. Um, you must send this card to the graveyard during the standby phase, um, second standby phase after activation. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can toss a coin. If the result is heads, send this card to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the Spell and Trap card zone to the graveyard, activate its effect. This turn, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your Ancient Warrior cards and effects. Also, until the end of this turn, all Ancient Warrior effect monsters you currently control gain this effect. When this card declares an attack, you destroy one card your opponent controls. So, declare an attack, pop, the attack still goes through. The second monster, declare an attack, pop, the attack still goes through. So it's just a way of clearing the board off, and your opponent can then not respond. So when they're triggering this effect, you can't respond to negate and destroy it. It's just stupid. Uh, Triple Tanky is a Beast Warrior deck. You know, you kind of want to get to pretty much either like your Zhukong, uh, sorry, your Lujon or your uh, Fractal as easy and as early as possible. Triple Extrav. Now Extrav is, again, so the utility of this deck or the whole idea of this deck is to go second. So I'm already starting with six cards. Extrav is going to let me gain an additional card. By that point, I've got enough of a range in my extra deck um, that I'm going to be able to win the game from this point on. The idea is that your extravagance is either going to bait our hand trap or it's going to get you into this card, which is Forbidden Droplet. Now, because this deck can pretty much go off of at least a two-card combo, minimum of uh, maximum of a three-card combo to get you a full OTK, Droplet is actually very, very uh, use useful purely because... If you were to extra into this, or even if you didn't extra into this, you've got six cards. You've got, including this, you've got two cards you can just dump and be done with. You've got an additional card as well. So that's going to turn off three of your opponent's monsters and halve them. Now, of course, if you get this off of extra, you're going to end up having seven cards in your hand, which means you've got an additional card to ditch, um, which that then means you've got even more chance to turn off your opponent's entire board. Now, the idea is you want to be turning off at least two. Um, being, If you look at like the most end boards, you're looking at like Appaloosa and... Um, Dragoon, or you're looking at Savage and Dragoon, like you want to be turning those cards off. You can easily put in Super Poly if your opponent is playing like a heavy, specifically a type of deck. So again, Dragoon and Savage both being darks, Verti Anaconda, or if you go, uh, not Verti Anaconda, yeah, Verti Anaconda is a dark, but then Starving Venom as well. So the idea of this deck is you want to still be able to do damage, but you want to be able to turn your opponent's board off. So even if you were to drop a Mystic Mine on them, that's even slightly good as well because you go as long as you turn the board off you missed it mine but the idea is you're going to pick their board apart that you don't want to lock yourself under missed it mine yourself then the one called by the grave that can easily be the third ash and then of course triple infinite impermanence you want to slow your opponent down you want to let them build a board but you want to let them build a useless board you want to let to let them build a board that you're going to be able to switch off easily or you're going to want them to build a board that you can go all right fine i'm going to break that with the greatest of these 
So Imperm will slow them down. Um, you could put the Gamma Package in here if you want, but there just isn't space for those four cards. And again, like I said, you want your combo to be as consistent as possible. So you actually want... If you were to take out the hand traps, Dark Ruler would be the first thing I'd say to put in. And if you were to put Dark Ruler in, your strategy would change exactly like I said earlier. Um, and you would actually go more with, right, I've turned your, um, my opponent's board off with one card. Um, I've now got five more cards to play around with. Those five cards are going to have to change from dealing damage to just, just destroying the monster outright. Now the extra that I'm going to do a little bit differently, I'm going to explain to you the breakdowns of each one. So we've got like utility cards, the interruption cards, the aggressive cards, the defensive cards. So for the utility cards, of course, we're going to play Triple Ancient Warrior, um, Double Dragon Lords. So basically, all Ancient Warrior monsters you control gain 500 satin defense. It requires two Beast Warrior monsters, including one Wind Ancient Warrior monster. Uh, you can only use each of the following effects once per turn. If this card is Link Summoned, very important. So you will not get the effect off if it is summoned via the tri brigades because they special summon they don't actually officially link summon which is why they bypass the effects of requiring one wind ancient warrior so if it is linked summoned, you add one ancient warrior card from your deck to your hand and then quick effect you can send one card from your hand or fill to the grave type one face up card your opponent controls return it to the hand so again this is one of the ones that will be better under dark ruler no more because you just go return but you will still have the ability depending on what your hand limit is and what card you draw into and add to send and bounce and then you're going to use this as link material later on anyway Two Ferrigit, um, again, utility card. We are playing extra, so the utility cards are the ones you want to always make sure you have in your extra deck. And then, like I said, I'll take you through the range of cards in a minute. So again, two Beast, Beast Warrior, and a Wing Beast Monsters gets bypassed if you use the Tri Brigade card. This is the one you're going to go for first out of your combo, and then the um, Double Dragons is the second card you're going to make. So during your main phase, special on one level four, a lower Beast Warrior or Wing Beast Monster from your hand. Nice. Um, also, you cannot use monsters as link material for the rest of this turn except Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast Monsters. Very important. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you draw one card, place one card on, from your hand onto the bottom of the deck. So again, you get to refresh your hand if you've opened up like double tanky or anything like that. Um, then for the interruption or utility cards, you've got your one IP, your one unicorn, and your one phoenix. Now again, like I said, these are utility interrupt cards. So in the OTK strategy of this deck... You don't care what you banish off of extra. As long as you have enough to keep building your board and you've got one of the five Link 2s left, you're good to go. Going into game two and three, if you're made to go first, that's where the strategy comes in. So, we do play the one small Bird of Sovereignty. So this is where the strategy comes in, where you take out the extra. Because if you're going first, all you want to do is set up the Tri Brigade combo to go into um, Samorg and then barrier statue, you lock your opponent out. Because they're not going to expect that. They're going to be like, right, cool, they're going second. Now, you probably should, knowing that anything that has the Tri Brigade combo in them now have the ability for the Barrier Statue lock. Um, so this is kind of, again, reasons we're not playing free of this is because these are utility cards. This, I don't care if I banish this off of Extra Game 1. Um, it's only when I go into the side deck. And when I go into the side deck, if I want to make the consistency of this better, you take out um, your Extra because you don't actually even want to draw the Barrier Statue. You want to keep that in the deck. And because this combo can be made off of like 1.5 cards or one card plus a Beast Warrior card, you're absolutely fine to not use extra. Then we've got our aggressive Link Force. So aggressive Link Force, you've got the one Axis Code, the one Shurag, um, Shurag and the one Boral Sword. Now the combo at the end that I'll show you, you've got the option to go Boral Sword or Axis Code. Boral Sword is the ideal end board, but it requires you to not search as much. And then the access code is the more defensive option. But what you'll end up doing is you'll end up having access code with two pops on four free. And then you'll have your loyal um, monster, your loyal ancient warrior that can attack twice. So that's kind of the route you go with that one. The other one is sword is just a bit aggressive and you do need that additional monster to make it successfully. For your defensive link four, you've got your Appaloosa again. This is purely when you go first. So when you go first, you're minimizing your... your um, the risk of banishing all your extra deck monsters, and that's why you go with Appaloosa, purely because it is the best defensive one. And even if you're going second, if you're ever actually massively worried about an Nibiru, you can make Appaloosa before you've even used a normal summon. Uh, and then finally, these are the cards that are, again, utility cards, but the only reason you'll play these is if you were to Dark Ruler. So the idea of putting these cards in here are basically, if you Dark Ruler... Oh, Take the camera out. If you've dark ruled, if you've done damage, uh, sorry, if you've dark ruled, if you can't do damage, if you can't win that turn, you play, you make this route of play. And again, I'll show you the combo of how to make this. So we've gone with double Tiger King, 
and the single Zeus. Now, at current, these are 16 cards that I've shown in front of you. Now, the cards you can take out is you take out Zeus, if you think you're always going to OTK. You take out Nightmare Phoenix, you can take out any of the Nightmare, kind of like the interruption package. You can even drop the Ferrogic down to two if you want to. But the idea behind this, and the only idea for Zeus, is if you do put in Dark Rollet, like if you're, a, if you're playing Dragon Link, and they're like, right, we're always going to set up like three or four negates, you're going to struggle to deal with this, and you're not going to guarantee to draw into your droplet. In all honesty, Dragon Link play through so many hand traps, I wouldn't even bother putting them in. I would instantly side out, possibly keep the imperms in, but I'd instantly side out the Ash Blossoms, definitely put in Dark Rollers, no mores. Then at this point, when you do your Tri Brigade combo, your Tri Brigade combo can actually end you on a Tiger King. The Tiger King, if you haven't used Tenki this turn, can get you an additional search, which gives you the Shurag. But then the idea is that your Tiger King will turn everything off if it hasn't already been turned off. Attack will survive the battle, then you make Zeus, and then you've got your defensive play for that point onwards. Um, so then again, like I said, Zeus is just your defensive play, so you'll end up your board on an Appalooza plus a Zeus. Now, the Appalooza is just there to protect the Zeus, and then once your opponent has built up the board, that's when you go Zeus, clear it. So if you want to clear it in your opponent's main phase two, you can use Zeus, but you should be able to clear during your main phase one, and Zeus is just there as another form of disruption. So it can easily be taken out if you don't like it, if you don't own it, um, but again, like I said, this is just a... If you can't finish the game off this turn, this is the direction you go, and it will become more apparent when we do the test stand video if this video gets 50 likes. So... That was it for the profile. Now, let me take you into the combo. So, the three card combo in the Ancient Warriors. Now, all you need is a mixture of these cards. Now, obviously, this can be any kind of combination you have, any kind of combination you need. The only card that is a must is the Lujuan. Now, again, the way you can get to Lujuan is you can get into it via Tenki. Um, if you do have free visits, you get to go a little bit further in the combo as well. Um, but that all comes at a later point. The one card you need to open up is you need to open up Lujan. You need to open up a way to get to the Tri Brigade, whether it be through Tenki. Uh, and then you need to open up any other Beast Warrior monster. Now, if you don't have the Tenki and you replace it with the free visits, that's fine. That gives you later game extension. If not, your Tenki is to operate for both of these. You do need to have like a continuous on the board um, to send, which gives you the most out of it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to operate it at the base minimum. So we'll go with Tenki, Fractal, and any Beast Warrior. Now, obviously, you're going to activate your Tenki straight away to get your Lujon, just to make sure that you've got the combo. Now, from this point on, what you do is you're pretty much just going to do the full Tri Brigade combo of sending your Fractal to the graveyard uh, from your hand. That will then send you your Nerval. Your Nerval will then trigger his effect to add you your Karas. Your Karas can then send any Beast Warrior, so you want to make sure this is the random card that you send to Special Summon itself down. You can then use Karas's effect to banish two. Now, I would honestly keep the Ancient Warriors in the graveyard and banish your Nerval and your Fractal, which will then give you your Ferrigit. The Ferrigit's effect will then go off. So that will then... Oh, let me zoom this out a little bit more. Let's reposition the camera for you. There you go. Your Ferrigit will then be able to trigger, or your Ferrigit can then special summon down uh, your Lujon. Now, this is at the point that if you've got free visits instead of Tenki, then you're going to get the ability of free visits to search, and then use the effect of this to send this. The free visits will special summon the card you search. This will special summon the other one from the board. So it just gives you an additional monster on the board. But in this scenario, what you're going to do, you're, ideally your opponent's going to have more monsters than you. That's why you let them build their board. Your Lujon is going to send the Tenki and enable you to special summon out your Sun Moon. Now, from this point on, if you really, really want to get the additional search off of your Sun Moon, which you kind of do, what you want to do is you want to send your Caress. Because all Sun Moon needs to do is send um, one card from your hand or field to the grave. Now, obviously, if you search more, this is your opening hand. You might still have three more cards to play with. It really depends. But the card you want to search off of your Sun Moon is going to be your Zhuang Di. Because, again, you're going to special summon down your Zhuang Di because you control two Ancient Warrior Monsters. Now, from this point on, this is where you go Borrow Sword, or if you go into Access Code. Now, if you go to Access Code, you get an additional search, which gives you an additional monster on the board. If you go Sword, you're giving yourself the guaranteed OTK, because the idea is you would then use these, go into Sword, you'd get the draw for Ferrogit, because if you've got no other cards in hand, it'll go back to the bottom of the deck. Um, but you can also go a little further. If you haven't used Tenki, you make Tiger King. If you have used Tenki already, which we have, this is where you're going to alternate the play. So if you go sword, you just use one, two, three, make sword. This thing declares the ability to attack twice. And then you've got sword attacking twice. You've got this attacking twice. Good, happy days. Um, if you're not going sword, what you do is you link these two together. You bring out your ancient warrior, dragon lords. 
Now again with Dragon Lords, it will get you to search because it has been successfully link summoned. Now, I would personally go for your Zhang Yuan because this is going to be your more aggressive play. Um, if you don't want anything in your hand, you could search out Kong if you want to as well. Dragon Lords can then send this to bounce one, but you don't really worry about that. You want to do damage. So then from this point on, what you're going to do is you're going to link these two together. It's not the strongest um, access code, like it could be a K stronger, but from this one, your access is now going to have two pops. You've reduced your board down to two monsters, so you're definitely going to have less monsters than your opponent, so this can now attack twice. You declare to use the effect, gain its ability to attack twice. Access then has a Earth and a Wind. If you wanted to, you can trigger the Fairy Jet effect to draw one and put one back to the bottom. So if the draw is better than what you've got, you put, it back to, you put this back to the bottom. But to be fair, this is probably going to be the best card you're going to have in your hand. So then what you can do is Access can pop two. Boom, and then you go into battle phase, you declare the attack with your Zhang Di. That will then trigger this card's effect, uh, Zhu Wan, uh, Zhong Wan in hand, to special summon itself, reduce one of your opponent's monsters by a thousand. Um, the attack will still go through. Then this on a new chain will pop uh, pop another card your opponent control. So you've already cleared off four cards. You've cleared off one with the attack here, you've cleared off two with your access code, you've cleared off one with him. You're then going to get to attack Zhang Di again. So Zhang Di is going to go in for 27, they're going to have at least a monster. Um, so you're going to be on 3k on the Zhang D, unless you've got no monsters left and you're attacking directly for 27. You're attacking directly for 23 there, and then you're attacking directly for 43 there. So you've got game just doing that. Even if they have another monster here, you're still going to get to attack it again, and you're still going to tap for a 23 and a 46. So you're doing 69 damage. You still have three cards to play with in hand, and off you go from there. So that's pretty much it for the Ancient Warrior deck profile with Tri Brigade. I hope you like this. I hope it's given you a couple of ideas. I seriously love Ancient Warriors. I think they can do so much. Um, and basically in the combo, when you put in free visits, what it allows you to do is it allows you to get the protection because you would, in the combo you just saw, we didn't even use our normal summon. So what you'd do is if you open up free visits and the Lujan, is you'd normal summon the Lujan, uh, activate the free visits, normal summon the Lujan, Lujan will then search out Kong, Kong then gives you protection. So the only other thing you need to do is it turns the combo into a full card combo because then you need um, another Beast Warrior to discard. So technically you should be able to provide this effect but it just allows you to protect from Nibiru as well. Now obviously you don't need to worry about that if you shut off your opponent's board, um, it then depends if your opponent wants to sacrifice their entire board. But still has a lot of amazing plays, really really like this deck um, and one of the other ways you can do as well is if you make Tiger King and you haven't used Tenki, is Tenki can search out Fractal. And because you haven't used your normal summon, you normal summon the Fractal, Fractal can then use his effect from Graveyard to banish four and make you a shoe rag. So your end board will add a shoe rag to it. Again, I'll show you more of this in depth once we get um, 50 likes on this video so that I can bring you a full test hand video. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, get it to 50 likes and I will bring you a Ancient Warrior Tri Brigade test hand video. But for now, as absolutely always, guys, stay safe and happy dueling.